Hello friend, welcome to a new video from Ned. Here are the steps. This video I show you how to create a virtual server using VMware ES11. First of all you need to create a custom ES11 image. To install all power CLI modules, run the command, install module vmware.powercli. If you see a warning that you are installing modules from an untrusted repository, press Y and then press Enter to confirm the installation. You must set the PowerShell execution policy from restricted to unrestricted to allow local PowerShell scripts to run. SC Customizer PS is a PowerShell script that greatly simplifies and automates the process of creating fully patched and customized ES11 installation ISOs using the VMware Power CLI. SC Customizer PS is a PowerShell script that you launch from within a PowerShell or a PowerCLI console window. It accepts various command line options. One of them is help that will display this help screen. Here is a list of packages, you can choose the right one for your computer. In this video I choose two packages, one for the NIC driver and one for the hard drive with SATA connector. You follow the command above. You will find this command in the description of the video. And here is your resulting ISO file. Next, you use the Rufus tool to create an ES11 installer. Next step, you install ES11 on the target computer. Since this is a new installation of ES11, select install in the following screen. Choose the disk where you would like to install the ES11. Confirm that you are ready to start the install process. The installation process takes few minutes. After ES11 is installed you will get the following screen where you can find the IP address of ES11. At this point, you are done creating a virtual server. As always, if you found this post useful, then subscribe to my YouTube channel. The next thing is you register a free account to activate ES11.